Continue our team coverage now with Senior Side's Andy Fox. He's live and read the Rodanthe Pier. So, Andy, they've already had to rescue one swimmer today. Yeah, they were, they were out swimming, and uh, the surf isn't that bad. There is some rip current down here, and as you'll see in this report, there was a uh, uh, swimmer in danger call that we responded to as well. But take a look out here. Dare County, I called them earlier. They said they're just keeping a weather eye figuring out what's going on. They say at the very least, it's a great reminder to everyone that hurricane season begins June 1st. The first call of the day, a swimmer in distress. He made it to shore, but in Rodanthe, the alert is on. Possible rip currents, bigger than usual waves. We're gonna get rip currents. Be safe, don't go swimming by yourself. Always have somebody on the beach with a cell phone. And if you're not a could swim or don't go out in it. I mean, don't get in over your head if you don't have to. When I first seen it was coming, I said, that's all we need. In Merlo Beach, Don Davis doesn't need any more storms. He got hit by Irene last August, now moving his house, thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket expenses. Originally, our house was here, the front of the porch. And you have now moved it? We moved it back about 50 feet, back toward the highway. Last year we were due to come down on vacation and it prevented us from coming. Irene did that and carved Hatteras Island's newest inlet. The new inlet bridge is connecting tourists to points south. Sand trucks are still getting things back to normal, almost as common as surfers. Hatteras Island crawling out of the Irene funk. Debris is not as much as it was. Some rental homes still a long way from open for business. The Davises hope they are open for business in June. The hurricane season looks like it's coming early. But the fact of it is, this home was built in the late 80s, and it withstood every hurricane and tropical storm that came through here until Irene hit. Yeah, until Irene, which, by the way, was the sixth most costly hurricane in U.S. history. Just a beautiful night out here on the Outer Banks. Alveda, you can smell the good air down here. No one's really worried, but they are keeping that weather eye, preparing, remembering, and reminding everyone that June 1st, June 1st begins hurricane season, and we've already got Alberto out there. Back to you. Not worried right now. Hopefully they can stay that way. Thanks a lot, Andy.